Danielle! Todd! There you are. Hi, Danielle. Hi. Great to meet you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, welcome. Uh, we're at Hay Runner's Plant Warehouse. What does Hay Runner do? So we are a design and construction company, and part of that design is house plants. So ah. we will bring these beautiful tropical plants into your house or your office, and we can also take care of them for you. Love that. I mean, house plants aren't the easiest plant to take care of. A lot of them are tropicals but you can be the green thumb for somebody, right? Yeah, definitely. I am a horticulturist. Um, I've been doing this for over 10 years. And yeah, it can definitely be intimidating, but there are some few easy tips to keep them healthy and happy year round. Ooh, this one here is really cool. Yeah, this is one of the most popular house plants. This is snake plant. Snake plant. Yeah, it gets its name from these cool variegations They're that awesome. it has. Yeah, it's very low maintenance, oh. low light, low water requirements. Great for beginners. How about this one here? This is ZZ plant, ZZ. similar to snake plant, very low maintenance, and it also has this beautiful glossy green foliage that looks amazing year round. Um, and your last one here. This is spider plant. Oh wait, so we have a spider and a snake. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm a little intimidated now. A little scary, but they're really not that scary. Good, okay. This one looks great in a hanging planter. Sure. It will also give you these little babies that you can ah. propagate. Oh, you get new plants. Yeah, and get new plants. Oh, love that. So, but this one's looking like it needs a little TLC. Oh. So let's go give it some love. All right, Todd, welcome to Plants 101. I'm taking mental notes. <laughs> this is our spider plant that yep. we were looking at before. Yes. One of the first things you want to look at with your house plants is the root system. You're looking for nice white coloring, really strong roots, it's not something that's falling apart in your hands. Sure. This looks like it also needs a little bit of a repot. You can tell because the roots are starting to form to oh, the shape okay. of the pot. Sure. So I'll do that later. You'll do that later. One of the most important things is right lighting. So a lot of people don't know what it means by direct light, indirect light. A really great rule of thumb that I like to use is use the crown of your plant. Okay. If the crown of that plant can see the sky, then that's direct light. I see. Uh, indirect light would be a plant that is either, you know, four to six feet away from a, a window or um, it's not able to see the sky. Gotcha. Um, and low light is a plant that is completely away from a window, you know, maybe even under artificial light. Can it be like in a dark corner too, yeah. really? Yep. Okay, great. Yeah. That's a good little lesson. Next thing you want to look for is any signs of nutrient deficiency. So nutrient deficiency, there's a lot of different types, yeah. but a good rule of thumb is um, when you're starting to see crispy leaf edges, you're starting to see that yellowing with what we call chlorosis. Um, that's a good indication that you probably have a nutrient deficiency. How do you fix that? Uh, one of the best things you can do as a plant owner is just have a handy dandy liquid fertilizer. Um, these are really nice because you can just add a few drops into your watering can and then you should start to see those nutrient deficiencies go away yeah. within a few weeks. And Some you, of this new growth is already looking This really is all nice. brand new and it's bright green. Yeah. Oh, that's great to see. Yep. Uh, the last thing and maybe the most important thing is watering. Watering. Um, oftentimes I see people over watering rather than under watering, yeah. oddly enough. And so what you can use is um, you want to make sure that your plant has good drainage mm -hmm. so the pot has holes in it. Um, when you're watering uh, your house plants, you want to make sure that water is able to okay, so it's drip right through. It's going right through. You want to water that plant until it is no longer dripping. Okay. Um, and that means that you have full saturation. Great. A great way to tell if your plant needs to be watered is using what I like to call the thumb test. Right. So pop your thumb right in the soil. Don't be afraid to get in there. Get a little dirty. This is what they mean dirty. about a green thumb. I guess. <laughs> or a brown thumb. <laughs> right. So if your thumb comes out and it has dirt on it, yeah. that means that it's all good. It doesn't oh. need to be watered. If your thumb is coming out dry, then that means it probably needs That's to be That's a sweet watered. little tip. Yeah. Thanks, teacher. Yeah, you're I'll, welcome. I'll, I'll bring an apple next time. <laughs> yeah, you're awesome. Uh, not only is Danielle an expert on plant care, but on plant staging too, like in a home or in an office. And a little later in the season, we're gonna do a story on that. We'll cover uh, staging of plants inside. So looking forward to that. That's it for this Gardening with Guttner. Keep your growing going. We'll see you next time.